to have our song and open Orlando. When I when I just couldn't, we got back. When I just couldn't stand the smell no more. I asked Keisha one time, Keisha, will you go check it, make sure you got his clothes on? She said, yeah. She took right off and went and done it. But that, but that, nothing said. All right. But we got all these strong men, uh -uh. good men. Uh -oh. That ain't it. But you don't want to do nothing. That's just right. you want to sit by the, behind the line and talk. Wow. But these women are stepping up, guys. You got to step up. Thank you. tried to manhandle, which means they trying to keep something quiet. But this family has been undergirded by a large extended family. So with all the Tuleys and Johnsons, will we make some noise for the entire extended family that has undergirded and protected this family? Give yourselves a hand. For KJ, no justice, no justice, no justice, no justice. No 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 I want to first thank our district coordinator, Larry Lockie, who has stood on the battlefield a long time. I want to thank Attorney C.B. King because in any movement, you can have all of the marching, you can have all of the jumping up and down. All of that is important. But if there's no attorney willing to put everything on the line for justice, oftentimes we don't get nowhere. Give it up for this man again. Yeah. I want to thank Stephen Green, our Morehouse brother, and I said to Stephen, give it up for Stephen. Yeah. I said to Stephen what I'm going to say to every young person in the audience. If this fight is to be won, it will be the young people who send the message. Amen. You are the ones who understand social media. You are the ones who understand what you have been through. You are the ones who know how to move people like we've never seen them move before. We saw young people bring Egypt down. We saw young people bring Libya down, and if you look long enough, you'll see young people bring Iran down. We've seen young people teach us how to battle. We've seen young people, even in the 60s, Dr. King was a young man on the battlefield when he was killed. Mega Evers was a young man when he was on the battlefield when he was killed. But his family continued to fight for justice. The four little girls in Birmingham who died in a church were simply young and innocent, but young people taught us how to fight. Why am I here? I'm here to say to you that this is our fight together. So oftentimes, we watched our young people kill them. I'm so sick and tired of going to funerals. Sick and tired of going to funerals. I remember looking at the young man who was gunned down only because he had his music up loud. And I went to his funeral and I watched his mother cry and wonder and try to understand why is my young man in a coffin? All he was doing was listening to his music. And some idiot felt that he could invade and violate his territory and kill him. I remember when they shot Trayvon down. And I said, how long, God, is too long? And we sit here and watch them try to take even our young sister now. I'm sick of the way they was treating Jantel. If you've been following that trial on, on television, it's time for us to stand up, not for our young men, but just our young women too. I'm sick of the way they take us out and they think that we're 
is supposed to gather like this and blow off some steam and then go home and wait for the next killing. But I came to tell you that we're sick and tired of being sick and tired. I didn't come in the words of Dr. King, although I respect him. I came in the words of Malcolm X, and Malcolm X said if we're going to win this fight, it's going to be by any means necessary. <laughs> have killed KJ but you didn't kill his dream. Yeah. You may have killed KJ but all you did was brought a community together yeah. that is really for right and for justice. I've learned long ago when it looked like we're outnumbered. We're just beginning the battle. You see, I understand when Moses was standing with the, with the sea to his front and the enemy to his back, and God simply said, stand still and watch the salvation of the Lord. And God split the sea. I watched when Moses, not Moses, but David, a young kid, young brothers, that's why I'm speaking to you. A young brother had to come up and tell the older men, let me get this uncircumcised Philistine. We ain't afraid of no giant. Bring on the giant. We ready to take them on. You see, everybody say y'all in the fire. Y'all can't be in the fire. We in the battle. But I came to tell you, a, a, a bad couple of brothers, Shadrach, Meshach, and a bad Negro. I want to tell you about them. When they were in the fire, they understood that if God take you through the fire, God is going to bring you out of the fire, and you ain't going to even smell like smoke. And so what are we saying to this city of Valdosta? The first thing we say is share plans with tired of your lives. That's what we say. That broke down into real terms. We're sick and tired of your lives. The FBI in this community, we need you to get out the way. You're a part of the problem. Yeah. But long as we got an attorney on board, and this attorney is a God-fearing man. This family, I got a chance to talk with them. I said to them, I didn't get, I didn't know your son. Tell me about him. And as we walked around this building, I learned more about the connection of a mother and a father. They on this battlefield, I got to feel that sometimes they got the quiet night, even though they feel lifted up with us. But you see, every year go around, every holiday go around, they got to cry sometimes. It's got to be us that lift them up. We've got to be the lifting up boys. My concern is that we don't allow this movement to become like other movements and after we talk and speak and march and we go home and wait for another killer and we go home, we gonna have another kid that's Walker, y'all, he's dead now and his wife is working three jobs. If we go home, we gonna have another, uh, 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 uh what's the brother name that was killed at the death penalty? Uh, 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 trying in the days. I can't forget his name. His nephew is out here with us right now. He understands the fight. Come up forward, little young man. Give it up for Dejan. He's still on the battlefield. We can't give up in this fight. We have to. I stand with the NAACP. I stand behind Attorney King, not in front of him. I stand with the other organizations like Marcus Coleman and National Action Network, SCLC, on the battlefield. I stand with all of the organizations who stand together because guess what? It don't matter what battle you fly on. If God ain't in it, it's not going to succeed. And so we've got to be together on one accord when we win this fight. Watch this. At a certain point, an attorney can only go so far for free. I pause that because I want you to hear this. At a certain point, an attorney can only go so far for free. We are going to have to help. I'm going to write a hundred dollar check. I'm gonna leave it with the family when I before I leave here. I'm not asking you to do anything, I'm just making a statement. At a certain point, a family can only go so far and then they need us. Sometimes you can't give up. What you're doing right now is your best, and your best is all God offers. Sometimes when you can't give and you can march, God honor that. When we walked around, some some people were saying, whoa, God, it looks four times. Even I caught myself saying, how many more times? <laughs> and then as it looked like we was wrapping it up, I heard Stephen say, we're going a full lap this time. And so I start sweating on the inside. But then I remember the, when, when they marched around Jericho. And I understood what happened when they marched around Jericho. It was on the seventh time when God gave them their strength. And if you know the story, God, God got them around on the seventh time. And they screamed, as a matter of fact, let me check your pulse. No justice! No, no justice! No, Wait a minute, if you marched around.
around seven times and you ready for the battle, you ain't tired, you understand that KJ is one of us, you understand that we got to fight not just for KJ, but when KJ is victorious, then every person that died in the Lyons County Jail is victorious, you understand that, then you can lift up your voices. No justice! Help me! No justice! Help me! Now, Isaiah was faced with the question. I want every young brother that's under 25 to raise your hand for me one time. And brothers, wherever you see a hand lifted up, I want you to connect with that hand. Wherever brothers are at that are under 25, find another brother and touch his hand. Just hold his hand together. I want to say something. Keep it up for a minute. Just for a moment. Just hold him up so we can see it. There you go. Hold him so we Every brother that's under 25, link hands together. Every brother that's under 25. If you over 25, leave your hand for somebody, somebody that's over 25. I want to make a statement here. Every brother, every brother at some point should be leaking hands with somebody. Every brother, I want to make a statement for a moment. Just for a quick moment. Ladies, I want you to just watch this. You, you demonstrated that you're on the battlefield. But God has, uh, God has ordered me and us to take our place also so that we can protect you even as you fight. Hold them up for a moment. Isaiah came to a point where God asked him a question. I'm going to paraphrase this a little bit because I want to get it across. God asked him, who's going to go for us? Who can I send? And Isaiah said, send me. Isaiah said, send me. If you, if young brothers, if you are send me kind of brother with your hands in the air, let me hear you. No justice. No justice. No justice. If you plan to stand on this battlefield to the end, brothers, all brothers, let me hear you. No justice. No justice. Now listen to this. Isaiah, not Isaiah, but David said, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? If you're not afraid, brothers, let me hear you. No justice! No, no justice! No, let me hear everybody say this. You can put your hands down, brothers. Ladies, I need to hear you too now. It's just like this. All of us represent KJ. If you feel that way, let me hear you when I say I am. I want to hear you say KJ. I am! KJ! wondering how we going to win this battle. Some of you always recite the 23rd Psalm and you go all the way down the line. But I'm here to tell you, if you just simply stop at the Lord, it's my shepherd, I shall not walk. You don't have to read the rest. God is with us. God got everything that we need. Brother Ryan, I want to say it to you, brother. We got a lot of love for you. Because when I look at the internet, I see you sitting with some Walmart dogs, brother. I know something is wrong with Walmart. And so I stop shopping for a moment until I hear from you. When I see the community, KJ YouTube, I understand that no matter what they're trying to say on the other side, I understand the true story of KJ, an athlete, a young promising man, and how dare the surf and the GBI in the FBI and all of these other folks try to create a smoke screen. We ain't gonna fall for your accident theory. Who do you think we are? We're not falling for no accident theory. We're not falling for all of that nonsense. Who do you think we are? Simply put, we want you in this community. If you are responsible for the death of KJ, you either come willingly or we're gonna find you. We're going to find you as a people. You say, how are you going to find us if you ain't got no weapons in your hand? Because the God we serve is above all weapons. We're going to find you. We'll find you. That's how we're going to do it. Brother Stevens, come up for a minute as we close out. If we, young brothers, I want you to hear me again. Honestly, if we are going to be successful here, I want y'all to hear me, young brothers. Y'all got to hear me. Because when I'm not the president of the NAACP, I counsel all across Georgia. And so I want to give you an inside scoop. They are taking young brothers out every day. And so when I come to a rally 
and I can see a young brother like here, and you all in the audience, I know that those young brothers in the youth detention system who are waiting to go to prison because that's the game they playing. I know that we can win this. The enemy is using the courtroom with the judges. They're using the streets with the sheriff's department. You don't believe me? Everybody out here knows somebody in prison now. Young ladies, they even using health. You don't believe me? Georgia is number four in HIV. What I'm saying to us is, we are always the smaller in number, but we are always the strongest when we are united. And my message has always been, if they can't find an enemy on the inside of us, they can't defeat us. If they cannot cause you to talk about me, or me to talk about you, if we can't find some Uncle Tom to go out there and try to shoot KJ down, we are victorious. Every time you hear somebody talking negative about KJ, you tell them to get away from me with that nonsense. We don't want you around. Get away from me with that nonsense. I don't want to die into no accident theory. If you can't believe it, go home. If you can't help me, don't hurt me. Yes! with a special performance. We want to allow Mr. Rise and Mr. Rush to say a few words before we have our special performance and then there has been some delicious barbecue and uh